Hello and welcome back to tutorial, this tutorial on GIMP. Now we're going to go in closer for a better cut line against the horse because you're not just going to place it in the picture like this. We're going to stay on our eraser settings. We're going to scale it down to about 22. We're going to go into 400% of the actual picture. Scroll down to the place you want to start at. and start cutting or erasing whatever you want to call it you want to cut right along the edges of the horse make sure that you do not have hard edge on otherwise it'll be like just like a perfect cut and it'll look very 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 pixely and you don't really want very pixely otherwise it won't look realistic so you can use a soft edge and cut along the edges. I find it easier when there's a dark horse that if there's a light, lighter background it's easier to see if you've forgotten something. Like say I'm cutting right along here. Oh look there's something right there I've forgotten it. See? But that's just me. I mean yeah sure you can do a dark horse with a dark background. It's just a lot harder. After you've gotten some of it done, you can continue on. Make sure once again to get right up along it, otherwise your picture will look strange and strange. So basically just continue to cut around the edges until you feel you've gotten it all. After you think you've gotten it all, zoom out to about 67 again just to make sure and voila I've got this front leg done and I've got this part of this other front leg done we're gonna come back in with a smaller brush later and get rid of that part right there I'm gonna go back into 400 No, I liked it before. Make sure that you get as much as you can with this large brush, or medium size, it's not really a smallish large brush thing. So you don't have to go back to smaller brushes every single time just because you don't think it's perfect. That gets really annoying. That's probably about as much as I can get without cutting off part of the horse's leg. And yeah, that's the, oops, that's the end of this tutorial for now. Next time you come back, you'll see that this thing is all cut out and we will be adjusting the lighting. Thanks for watching. Bye.